Art Brussels is somewhere distinct from other art fairs in the way we show the art or the kind of art we show and also the prominence we give to our discovery section. And so in this we have a profile of showing art that is not necessarily seen at other art fairs. Collectors follow us since years and are very loyal to the fair. So somehow we are not to be missed rendezvous in the art fair calendar. Reading room. Origami. Origami. We we last since 50 years, which is in a very competitive world, which has become completely globalized, such as the, the global art scene. Um, I really think we endure because of our specific identity. Russell's has a very vibrant art scene which is totally informal because it's also a small city and so everybody's connected the artists with the curators with the museum directors and it's all very easy going and that I think is maybe a bit different because you don't have this hierarchy of the big institutions um, also the space, there are a lot of artist studios in Brussels because the market is quite affordable, you can rent beautiful spaces, large ones, and so there is kind of a, a secondary, uh, very vibrant scene in Brussels. What we actually did, we invited also a painting, a historical painting, to be part of this conversation. And this painting is one of the most important paintings in art history. So it is uh, Mystic Lamp, Adoration of the Mystic Lamp by Jan van Eyck, Jan and Hubert van Eyck. And from that point, we started our questions to this historical piece. Uh, the level of the uh, of the art fair is quite high. Uh, seems to me, I've seen nearly mo 
most of the art fairs important in the world. And I appreciate Art Brussels very much because not only of the representation of the highest uh, uh, established galleries from different countries, surely uh, firstly from Europe, but also from a very sharp and uh, a precise choice uh, of the art which really linked uh, with the today.